If you don't know how to do this, or this, I'm gonna show you. Before we start, there are three things uh, you need to know about pinch harmonics. So, if you want to start learning it, first of all, don't try to learn them on the thickest string, so not on the E. Not here, also not on the thinnest E. Try to uh, learn these pinch harmonics on a D string, it's my favorite uh, to learn it. D, maybe G eventually. A second, try to pick your finger somewhere in the middle of the fretboard. So for example, 7th fret or 5th fret or, or, or 9, 12. Don't try to learn pinch harmonics picking too close to the neck or too close to the bridge because it's, it's also harder there. And the last one, uh, what also really matter is that where exactly do you pick here in this position? Because I'm gonna show you with an example. You can make a different sound if you pick here or if you pick here. Look. So if you struggle with, you know, uh, finding that sound, you can try to adjust your picking hand, left or right, to see if it's easier on the certain position to, to make this sound. Okay, so the most hard thing about uh, learning pinch harmonics is to getting feel the motion, the move of your picking hand. I'm gonna show you an example how the riff looks when I'm not pinch harmonics and when I do pinch harmonics. It's gonna be simple, simple uh, riff. I'm gonna use the E string open and the, the note on the A string seventh fret, which is basically an octave. Look on my right hand, the motion of my right hand. So as you could see, you know, right hand is doing motion like it would rotate to the right. See? So it's going like... Another, another important thing is how you hold your pick. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, hold your pick like that. It, it won't work. You need to hide your pick a bit. To, you know, to just tip of it, go outside of the thumb. What is happening when you're pinch harmonics is that when you do this motion, the first thing that touches the string is your thumb. Not the pick itself, but the thumb. So the motion goes like thumb first, this area, and then pick. You need to hold your pick something like that and try to touch the string with the thumb first, then the pick. Also another way that may help you understand what's going on is imagine that uh, you're hitting the string from down, so from below the strings, up. You would like to put your pick under the string and then do the motion up. So it's like you would like to, you know, grab the string from below and pull it up. I suppose that's why they call it pinch harmonics, because it's like you would, you know, pinch the string up. So yeah, that's basically it. And the hardest thing in, in, in pinch harmonics learning is, you know, to, to get used to this feeling, to, to this motion of your right hand. At the beginning, it will sound terrible because you will try to, you know, find this, 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 this motion, find these habits to how to do it. For me, it took, I don't know, really long to, to, to learn pinch harmonics and it, I won't lie to you, it was a frustrating progress, but the key is the patience, so eventually you will learn it, but just give it a time. 